இந்த பஞ்சாப்ல நடந்த சம்பவத்துல இருந்து தொடங்கலாம் நினைக்கிறேன் த பிரைம் மினிஸ்டர் கோஸ் டு பஞ்சாப் ஃபார் கவர்மெண்ட் இவெண்ட் விழாவுக்காக போய் அந்த பிரிட்ஜ் மேல ஒரு பதினஞ்சு ஒருவேளை இஃப் சம்திங் ஆன் டுவர்ட் ஹெட் ஹேப்பன் அட் தட் டைம் அ பாம்ப் லாஸ்ட் ஆர் சம் அதர் அட்டாக் மேபி பை அ ட்ரோன் அவங்க ட்ரோன் எல்லாம் விடுறாங்கன்னு சொல்கிறாங்க இஃப் சம்திங் ஹெட் கான் ராங் ஹூ வுட் பி ரெஸ்பான்சிபிள் எஸ்பிஜி எஸ்பிஜி இஸ் கம்ப்ளீட்லி ரெஸ்பான்சிபிள் ஃபார் த சேஃப்டி ஆஃப் த பிரைம் மினிஸ்டர் ஸ்பெஷல் ப்ரொடெக்ஷன் குரூப் அந்த பேராமிலிட்ரி ஃபோர்ஸ் அது ஒரு செக்யூரிட்டி குரூப் அது தே ஹவ் த்ரீ தௌசண்ட் மென் இன் தட் குரூப் காவல் படையினர் அதில் இருக்காங்க அவங்க போலீஸ் ஃபோர்ஸில் இருந்து இருக்கிறாங்க ஆர்மியில் இருந்து தேர் ஆல் ஹைலி ட்ரெயின் ஹைலி ஸ்பெஷலைஸ்ட் ஒன்லி பீப்புள் ஆஃப் சர்டன் ஏஜ் குரூப் கேன் ஈவன் கெட் இன் இட் இஸ் ரன் ஆன் அ பட்ஜெட் ஆஃப் சிக்ஸ் ஹண்ட்ரட் க்ரோஸ் பர் இயர் முன்னாடியாவது எஸ்பிஜி வந்து முன்னாள் ப்ரீவியஸ்லி எஸ்பிஜி யூஸ் டு ப்ரொடக்ட் ஃபார்மர் பிஎம்ஸ் அண்ட் தர் ஃபேமிலிஸ் டூ பட் ஆஃப்டர் மோடி கேம் டு பவர் they have been made exclusive only for the prime minister so only the spg is responsible and the state police has no responsibility at all primary responsibility lies with the spg you know very well that the prime minister security is coordinated by various agencies together spg intelligence bureau and the police of the state where he is currently traveling in the manlathla avar well firstly they have to work together listen to me listen to me please correct me if i'm wrong நீங்க கேட்டுங்க there has been no threat to his life whatsoever yes that's a good thing but what if it had that's what we're talking about who would have taken responsibility then spg i'm saying again only the spg primary responsibility okay. is with the spg the prime minister arrives and with him the spg they are at batinda airport whose help do they seek to sanitize well, the route for his travel whose help let me tell you something i have organized programs which have been attended by the spg productive our party leader shrimati sonia gandhi Rahul Gandhi and Manmohan Singh have all come to my constituency. Manmohan Singh and Durgan. The SPG will come and take over everything. The state police only reports to them. Exactly Listen the point. To me. The state police reports Listen to, to me. them. That's the point. Did the Punjab Listen police well, do that well, properly? Listen to me. Anna inge report. That's the question here. Wait, wait, let me complete. They made the decision, yes, but No, 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 not so. Hear me out and then ask your questions, please. They take complete control of all his travel arrangements. He reaches Punjab. They are unable to travel by helicopter due to bad weather. So they decided to go by the road. All these decisions were made by the SPG. The state government or any other agency cannot make these decisions. All this happens only after the SPG director's approval. அதனால எஸ்பிஜி தான் பிரைமரி ஃபோக்கஸ். ஆனா இந்த இந்த நிகழ் They have made the decision. It's all in their control. அவர்களுடைய கட்டுப்பாட்டில் தான் இருக்கு ரெண்டாவது வாட் ஈவன் வாஸ் த பிக் டீல் வித் வாட் ஹேப்பன் தட் டே கே வாட் வாஸ் த பிக் டீல் யூ வுட் சேஸ் ஜஸ்ட் அ டிராஃபிக் ஜாம் எக்ஸாக்ட்லி ஹி வாஸ் இன் அ டிராஃபிக் ஜாம் ஃபார் 15 मिनिट्स ஹி வாஸ் இன்கன்வீனியன்ஸ்ட் ஹி குட்ன் கோ வேர் ஹி வாண்டட் டு கோ தேர் வாஸ் நோ क्राउड அட் இஸ் ரலி இஃப் இட் வாஸ் ஜஸ்ட் அ டிராஃபிக் ஜாம் சார் வை டிட் யூ சஸ்பெண்ட் தி டிஜிபி நோ வி டிடன்ட் தி பஞ்சாப் கவர்மெண்ட் ஹஸ் டிஜிபி தி டிஜிபி அண்ட் தி எஸ்எஸ்பி ரெஸ்பான்சிபிள் ஹேவ் பீன் சஸ்பெண்டட் வை எலெக்ஷன்ஸ் ஹேவ் கம் ஜஸ்ட் அ டிராஃபிக் ஜாம் ரைட் யாருமே எஸ்பி பட் வை ஹேவ் நோ ஹெட்ஸ் ரோல்ட் இன் தி எஸ்பிஜி இஃப் தி எஸ்பிஜி இஸ் ரெஸ்பான்சிபிள் ஆக்ஷன் மஸ்ட் பீ டேக்கன் அகைன்ஸ்ட் தேம் டு நோ டு வி ஹேவ் டு பட் தி क्वेश्चन ஐ வாஸ் ஆஸ்கிங் யூ இஸ் once the prime minister reaches batinda airport and wants to proceed to ferozpur who will the spg seek help from as per the blue book isn't it the job of the state so police to something. design the route for his travel yes or no pogono route ready pannunga nu solluvaangala matanga look i'm not yes here to no? give yes or no answers i will answer if you are ready to listen to my version of things first day, advance there is something called advanced security liaison correct If the prime minister is scheduled to visit a city today the SPG does not arrive with him they come 3 days in advance the bulletproof car and such things come beforehand the advanced security liaison will go in advance check the routes and take complete control with the help of local SPs so don't shift the blame adunala idha vandu don't shift the blame idala ninga ninga i am not shifting the blame you are not giving the appropriate blame to the SPG sir i have already said This is the work of multiple agencies working together SPG IB and state police the state police has to work along with the SPG the prime minister's vehicle would have moved only when the state police gives the green signal that the route has been listen, cleared am i right listen to what i'm saying what was the advanced security liaison doing then then he's also wrong 
but how can you say that the punjab police has no responsibility at all i didn't say so but primary responsibility is with spg is what i am saying 120 by that logic media also has responsibility for hyping this up who leaked the pm's route media leaked the news that the pm is going to take that route so they also no, have to take responsibility the, news. the protesters have said on record that it was the police that informed them about the prime minister's travel let all this come out in the inquiry but what is the primary fact here there has been no threat to his life not even for a second yes that's a fact let's but... establish that first clearly this car was not even hit by a rotten egg leave alone other dangers so there is no logic in saying that he was attacked and all that he was inconvenienced by that's definition all. the spg provides only close proximity security beyond a few kilometers their ring of protection does not even but they apply. are the ones who coordinate with others also that's exactly what i've been saying if the state police had at any point informed them about these protesters the pm would never have come there kranga inge route seri illa nu sollirundha avanga vandi eduthukka matanga ஒன்ஸ்லிட்டி <laughs> This is all melodrama. All dictators do this from Hitler's times and even before. Adik munadi irukra ke ella Hitler ella sarvadi. This is the standard playbook of all totalitarian leaderships. He is also going by the same. Nothing more to it. You say there was no danger and it was just like a traffic jam. But Manish Tiwari says otherwise. I I don't accept Manish Tiwari's point of view. He has to say such things because of the uh, internal political dynamics there. He is a good friend of mine, but I don't accept his views in this matter. He says this was 10 kilometers from the Pakistan border and within their shooting range. And the Prime Minister has been a sitting duck for nearly 20 minutes there. How dangerous is that? Intercontinental, intercontinental. All of us are actually within the range of intercontinental ballistic missiles. Pakistan also has that capacity. With their long-range missiles, they can target the PM's current house and his new house that is under construction at any point of time. Pakistan, let the intercontinental missile missile put on. That will not be able to attack. By this argument, no Indian Prime Minister can visit any border district. because at all these points the neighboring countries can train their guns dupaki kandipa irukum appra ivar eppadi poraaru ivar appa appa diwali ki ella sweet kudukkuradhukaga lay ku poraaru anga anga poraaru la and urku la povae kudad ivar he should not be going to lay or any of the border areas where he visits regularly right so manish tiwari's argument is not acceptable at all so manish tiwari is just making a political statement yes i think he is saying it for his own personal politics solra karutha da naan eduthukolla manish tiwari சொல்றது அவர் பிரத்தியே சோ ஹிஸ் ஸ்டேட்மென்ட் இஸ் politcal பட் யுவர் டிராஃபிக் ஜாம் ட்வீட் இஸ் தி கரெக்ட் ஸ்டேட்மென்ட் நோ ஐ சட் இட் ஃபார் politics டு ஐ அக்செப்ட் த ஏன் அரசியல் கா சொல்லுங்க நீங்க அது நியாயமா சொல்லுங்க நம்ம வந்து டு யூ திங்க் इट्स a fair comment sir all said and done a security lapse for the prime minister cannot be taken so lightly i have not written a single word about the prime minister in my tweet why do you all understand it that way don't our people have the basic intelligence to interpret that sir you posted the tweet What right after this say? incident all i said was Sitting in a traffic jam for 15 minutes is a common occurrence in all our lives. That's all I Sir, said. You need it? to accept that our people are smart enough to understand that context. He also made a statement. He said, "Thank you, CM, that I'm returning back alive." He just thanked the CM, right? In your words, he just thanked the CM. Then, Then why are you understanding politics, it differently? Right? If that is politics, this is politics too. What's wrong with a little satire in politics? Yes, I was being sarcastic. But the I Congress agree. party says it does not agree with you. that your views are not their official position solradhu congress kachchudu illai naan solradhu pala vishayathil naan solradhu they claim to take the security of the prime minister very seriously i also take the prime minister security seriously but your tweet doesn't reflect that i never said a word about the prime minister in my tweet right my party doesn't agree with my views on many issues i don't expect they will endorse me in this but i repeat this again and again there was no threat to the pm whatsoever not even a rotten tomato was thrown at him all right he was totally safe there was no crowd at his rally and he needed to find some reason to turn back there have been tons of videos out there that prove there was indeed a huge crowd 
but this is what the congress will say as opposition isn't let's it let's see after the elections then whether there was a crowd or not that definitely won't be so any vote for the Punjab. bjp not a chance so congress will win then yes our chances are bright as far as punjab is concerned the congress has very bright prospects yes it might be the exact opposite in uttar pradesh you know that i play tennis each state is like a different set you might win one set 6 for 0 but you have to start the next one again at lawal punjab and up elections have no connection whatsoever no no i'm not saying they are connected you made a prediction for punjab now i'm asking about you my honest opinion we we are trying something new in uttar pradesh this time under the leadership of priyanka gandhi we are experimenting something new 40% of the seats are going to women candidates the first list has come out now it's a revolutionary decision we don't know its electoral impact yet but in the long term view it will definitely benefit us anybody who knows politics will know that the real fight there is between ajay bisht and akhilesh yadav the real fight is going to be uh, between their teams so they will be the prominent players there i accept that 